into P3 without even having to take the Lamborghini. Now, what the team need to do is be telling Jules Gounon just, you know, don't do anything crazy here because the position we're in at the moment with the drive through to come from the uh, Porsche ahead and where Conor Di Filippi is out on track. We'll get a championship prediction. My goodness me, the drama could not get any greater. Jules Gounon is out. My goodness, Daniel Carvitz cannot believe it, nor can Christopher Mees. Whoa. The car is out, the safety car has been called for. Jules Gounon has binned it. The Callaway Competition Corvette, which was a shoe-in for the championship. It was only a few moments ago I said it was 2012 that Daniel Karvitz came here and lost the championship. It looks like, but well, there's no question, it's lost now because the car is out of the race. So the safety car is out, I'll tell you what. Oh, please, let me see a replay of that because we just caught the tail end of the car going into the barriers. The number 77 Corvette is out. Well, Christopher Mees looks on and, oh, you have to feel for Daniel Carvitz. Well, of course, through it all, we hope that Jules Gounon is OK. The medical team are down there. Pretty sure I saw a wheel coming off the car at the back as well. It's a huge impact. Well, what that has done, it's completely changed for the second time, I think, now, the uh, face of this championship. So, medical team down there attending to Schulz Gunon. And there, uh, Daniel Karvitz uh, looks on with uh, anxiety. So, cars then uh, being taken around by the uh, safety car, which has been deployed because uh, of this incident, which has seen the uh, Schulz Gunon car into the barriers there. It was a really curious place where that happened as well. So Daniel Karvitz uh, walks away. And uh, Jules Gunon then uh, being attended to uh, down there by the uh, medical team. The safety car has uh, picked the cars up. The race now being led by uh, Robert Renauer, of course, because David Yarn has to, had to uh, take a drive-through penalty. And it, uh, with uh, 20 minutes and uh, 59 seconds on the clock. OK, here is the incident then. So there was a touch. There was a touch on the back end of the Rolf and uh, Lamborghini. Oh, and that was a huge impact, and that was a driver side impact as well. So there, I thought I saw a wheel rolling off the car. Um, he did, here we can see it from on board, the uh, Jules Gounon car then. It's coming into the arena section, there's the touch. And that's where the car just got completely out of shape and then pirouetting and uh, spinning and heading towards the barriers. And that was driver side on. So uh, our very, very best wishes to Jules Gounon down there. The championship is completely and totally academic to the driver's well-being. And uh, we wish Jules Gounon uh, well. The uh, top medical team down there looking after him at the moment. And uh, Christopher Mees, there you can see in the uh, pit box of uh, Land Motorsport. Cannot believe it. Um, we're able to bring you. Here it is again. There's the touch, and just the back end of the car steps out, so the car spins, and then is uh, completely in. Now, of course, the uh, barrier is protected there by, uh, by tires, but the impact was such that uh, the side of that car is absolutely